Welcome to building high-speed applications with Socket Cluster in Node.js. In this uh, course, we'll learn how to build very high-speed single-page applications using Socket Cluster. Uh, Socket Cluster is kind of a framework for Node.js. Um, it allows the developer to utilize all the CPUs and have all the CPUs talk to each other and use WebSockets for communication between the client and the server. I have a bare-bones um, Linux distribution here. Uh, I've done the upgrade, the update, and the distribution upgrade along with installing Sublime, Chrome, and Terminator um, just to get us started. Um, so the very first thing we need to do is go to Node.js and if you're on a Windows machine you can click this lovely button right here, download it, and install it. And I'll install npm, which is Node.js's package manager, um, which allows you to install different packages as you go. Uh, Express, PM2, some of these ones we'll be getting into. Other ones you can go research on your, on your own and learn about them. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of different packages, 170,000 currently, as of August 2nd, 2015. So, anyway... I'm going to be doing this in Linux, so uh, particularly Linux Mint, so it might be a little bit different if you're on a Windows machine, but uh, after this initial install, it will all be the same. Same. So the very first thing we need is we need to um, get Node. So I'm going to actually install a couple other things first. We need Emacs, Git. We need, I'm going to be using MySQL for this um, this uh, tutorial, which you can, if you're on Windows, you can go to MySQL's website. Just search for it and download the, your, your version of uh, MySQL for your operating system. Um, we're going to be needing uh, npm and node.js. Oops, we need build essential first. Essential. All that will get installed if you're on a Windows machine. You don't need to do it here. Um, so we'll run that and we'll put in our password and run. Oh, some of the packages are already installed, I guess. Normally it's about a 400 meg install, but I think I installed Emacs earlier and maybe MySQL, so it might be why it's doing that. But anyway, uh, so while this is doing this, I'll explain a little bit about Node.js. Um, Node.js is a JavaScript um, server-side um, language uh, built in Chrome's uh, V8 runtime, and it's extremely fast, fast, extremely flexible. Um, the one issue with Node is if you're not if you haven't been around developing for that long, it might be a little hard to get at first because it is very bare bones. It comes with almost nothing. Um, so you need you need to have a basic understanding of servers and how to launch them, how to how to run, uh, re uh, do um, HTTP statuses, uh, respond with JSON, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's see, what we'll put in the password in here. I'm just doing a simple, I mean, you never do the simple passwords for an actual development environment. Because this is a VM, though, it doesn't matter so much. I can blow it away after I'm done. But in a professional environment, you'd want to use a good, solid password and different passwords across different applications and for different parts of your application. Anyway, so um, one thing with Node 2 is it's, uh, it's event-driven, which is awesome, but it's also non-blocking, which we'll have to handle. But it only runs on one CPU. So if you have multi multiple CPUs, like this machine I'm currently running on, um, has eight, eight and eight core. Um, well, it's, just, it's a four quad core, but it's hyper-threaded i7, so it has eight cores. Um, you don't, you can't utilize all those uh, cores. So there is several packages for Node that help you handle handle that, like Cluster, for example. Uh, these are all different parts of cluster, but cluster is a, a, a package you can install, um, and that allows you to handle all the CPUs. And then you need to communicate with those. So you need a Reddit server or something in order to communicate between those. And then if you want to do really fast client communication, you need something like Socket.io. Anyway, it gets really complicated with all this stuff you have to install. So I like to use Socket Cluster, which is very lightweight and it installs just enough for what you need. Um, Oh, one last thing. If you're on a um, a Linux machine, uh, Node has a bit of an error. It doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't install in the right place on 12.4 or 14.4, whatever. So, 
Um, oops, node. Oops. There we go. Where is that list here? I always have a bit of trouble finding it. There's a. There is. Uh, let's see on the node. Yes, the command's not found. So you can do um, do node and not found. So here we go. This one here. So maybe copy that up there real quick and grab this right there. That's what you need. And that copies it into the right place. So you can do this. There you go. And now you have node. You see you have node. Okay, so we need a projects directory, so projects, pro, oops, uh, maybe projects, CD projects, okay, so now we have a projects directory. So now we need to install um, socket cluster, so we use npm to install packages, so install socket cluster, and then we need to install it globally, dash G. We'll explain the difference between this. There's other options like save, um, save, and whatnot. But we'll explain that later on. So we'll install cloud cluster. So give that a minute to install. Oops, need to run it as super user. Just a second here. This one takes it takes a second to install. So after that's done installing. The documentation on Sucka Cluster's website can be found uh, right here. And essentially what it does is allows you to open up a WebSocket um, persistent connection between the client and the server. And in doing so, you can just pass data back and forth without having to make whole request objects. So it's incredibly fast. Um, a lot of times with other frameworks and whatnot, you every time you make a request, you do a whole, you build a whole object up. Uh, and so it takes, there's, a time there, a delay, and socket cluster helps you eliminate that delay. Well, actually, sockets, web sockets allow you, not just socket cluster, there's a lot of other frameworks that allow you to, it allows you to um, avoid having to build that request object every single time. Well, the server does it for you, but it, it wastes time. Um, and this is almost done. Okay, so now we can use socket cluster to create a project. So, socket cluster um, create test. So we'll do that. And while that's booting, I'll, I'll load up, oops, wrong one. I'll load up Sublime. You can use any text editor you want, any IDE you want. I kind of tend to use Sublime because it's got some cool features for um, for Node, but you can, you can use anything you want. Where did that go? Here you go. Open folder. Oops. Uh, projects test. Okay. Now after that's done, you'll notice that Socket Cluster gives you a series of files and folders. Don't get overwhelmed by that. We'll go over everything soon enough. But you also notice too, it's a lot smaller than some other frameworks, um, which is nice. So we'll real quick go, we go into uh, the folder, run node server, and we have our first. Um, also you'll notice too, it only runs one CPU. Well, we'll get over that in a minute. So we'll over that in a minute. So four ports. There you go. And there you go. That's your very first Suck Cluster app. One nice thing about Suck Cluster 2 is it's a full um, app from top to bottom. So you can actually deploy this on EC2 without the need for Apache or Nginx. It runs everything complete, so a complete package. It's easy to, to, um, to port. Uh, you don't have to do any, really a whole lot of installs. Um, one thing you do have to do is if you move it over though, um, uh, control X C is how you cancel out of that. You need to install, which will take all the um, packages and install them. And those are listed right here. We'll go over that later on. So anyway, welcome to Socket Cluster, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Please feel free to leave any comments, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.